Build any form imaginable on your website using WP Forms drag and drop form builder. Create forms with electronic signature capture, forms with payment collection, or use any of the thousands of pre designed forms available in WP Forms. Check it out from the link in the description or scan this QR code. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to trigger a WordPress pop up form on a link click, button click, or an image click. And it's very, very easy to execute on any WordPress website. Let's begin. So I have this beautiful WordPress website. It's a completely blank install, nothing on it. So I can demonstrate everything you need to do from scratch. And of course, anything we want to do in WordPress, the easiest answer or solution is always use a plugin. And in this case, we're going to use a plugin that is actually connected to a third party service to create that pop up. And the service is called Optin Monster. This is a fantastic plugin and a service. And it is a lead generation machine, or I say it can turn your website into a lead generation machine and hopefully a customer generating machine. So it has light box pop ups, floating bars, gamified wheels, countdown timers, and it has page level targeting. So the targeting options are quite insane and an exit intent and geolocation targeting and hundreds of templates you can use. So it's a very powerful piece of software. It's not completely free, but you have a free trial, I believe. So you, I'll leave the link in the description on the screen. And you can watch this video and decide for yourself if this is a great plugin that you should be using on your website. Now, I already have an account, so I'll just use or I've already made a purchase. So if you want to follow along the video, you'll need to make a purchase first or at least get a start or trial first, and then you can follow along. Otherwise, you can just watch this video. So going back to our site, let me show you how to set up Optin Monster on a site, how to use it and how you can start utilizing it to actually create those pop ups uh, with forms that actually click or I'd say pop up on clicks. So first thing I'll do is install the Optin Monster plugin. Now, just to clarify, Optin Monster plugin is free, but it's actually connecting to Optin Monster's service. So even though the plugin is free, you'll still need to have the premium service. So I'll search for Optin Monster. And coming here, you can see Optin Monster. This is the plugin. It has over 1 million active installs and 5 star, 4.5 star ratings. So it's an absolute uh, amazing, amazing plugin. Let's click install now and we'll start installing. And the plugin is now installed. Let's also activate it. And it's activated. Let's refresh the page. And instantly, when you refresh, it says, Hey, claim your free account or go back to your dashboard. And it may ask you to connect your website to Optin Monster. Now, I've already connected or I'm already logged into Optin Monster. So if I'm logged in, I should just see, or you should just see, Hey, connect your worst website to Optin Monster, at least for the first time. And once that is done, you just have to click go back to dashboard and it should be connected automatically. So once your website is connected, this is all you have to do. And just to see all there, there are tons of settings here, but we are more most interested in going into the campaign section. And you can see my website isn't connected yet. So I'll just click connect my site and go through the process again. I'll click connect my existing website, existing account. I'll just click connect to WordPress. And it should take a couple of seconds and then connect my website. So it's done. All right. So now my website is connected. For some reason, I didn't see the pop up on the first try. But this is how you can set up your website. So once the website is now connected, all uh, the actual background activity, the coding related part is taken care of. Because if you want to uh, target people on a page level basis, you need to have some sort of code added to your site. The plugin helps you set everything up very, very quickly. So now since that is done, you can head into the campaign section and start creating a new campaign. I'll click the create your first campaign button. And we have tons of different campaigns options. We have pop ups, loading bars, full screen pop, full screen, let's say, uh, campaigns, inline campaigns, slide in and gamified. And each of these have lots and lots of templates that you can utilize. So what I'll do is just, I'll just find one with, uh, let's say a field to enter. Otherwise we can just uh, customize it from scratch. So maybe I'll just pick a default one, this one. So I'll just choose this one. Let's say we are tempting or I say, uh, the call to action is, hey, register for webinar. So we want the users to enter their email so they, they can register. So I'll click the use template button and I'll call it webinar campaign and just start building. And just to clarify, once you start building the campaign, actually it takes you to the Optin Monsters website. So the campaign build out process is not done on your site, but it's a seamless process or seamless experience for you. You won't feel any difference. And this is the campaign builder where you can actually uh, build out your campaign, design your campaign and do a lot of different things about your campaign. So if I go here, you have tons of options. You have first the uh, blocks that you can add to the your campaign or a pop up and you have some smart blocks as well. What I'll do is I'll go into the opt in section and as soon as I click the opt in, you'll see there are a couple of additional fields that pop up here. And if I click here, 
I can actually customize these fields and this is how I can add the opt-in fields here. By the way, if you're using a plugin like WP Forms, the WP Forms automatically connects to opt-in monster as well. So you can create a contact form on your website and just instantly connect that WP Forms directly on opt-in monster. So by the way, if I show it to you here, you can see WP Forms it's locked because I'm not using WP Forms. But in a previous video, I've actually demonstrated how to use WP Forms and connect it to opt-in monster as well. So that is a possibility too. So once you click the opt-in section, once again here, you have options here. Then you can customize the options. You want to align it to be, you, have, you want width to be, you want it to be a required field, what's your name, what's the placeholder, what's the field type. All these things can be customized. And then you have the email button and submit button. You can customize the same things for them as well. So if I click here on the email field, is it required? What's the placeholder like? What's the field label like? The width of the field, error message, field ID, default value, and the submit button as well. So instead of saying reserve your seat, I'll say, let's say, for example, I'll say book your seat and instantly now I have this done. And then button click action is go to a view. So I can just say when users submit their information, what happens after they do it. So you can go to a view or you can redirect them to a URL, open an email client, click to call. There's lots, lots of options. So let's just, let's say, for example, I'll say redirect to a URL. I'll just create a new page later on the site. I'll just say, hey, let's say optinmonster.com, better option. So optinmonster.com. All right. So in this case, I've just created a simple or added a simple, I'd say opt-in fields here. So users will enter their name, their email address, and then click the book your seat button and be redirected instantly to a homepage of Optin Monster. But you can customize it to be anything you like. And then what we need to do is customize two additional things or I say three additional things before this campaign can go live on your site. So what happens after user submit the information? Is there any success options here? You can actually do this. So if you choose a different view option, this is what you can configure. So instead of being redirected to another page, you can have them show this here that, hey, your thanks for signing up and your email has been registered, something like that. So that is also uh, an option. So if I go back here in the opt-in section and go here and I can go to submit button and I'll say redirect to URL, I'll just say click go to a view and I can say success view. So this is the success view and I can customize the success view similar to how I can customize anything else. So I've just demonstrated how to customize the pop-up, how to add fields to it, how to customize the success message, how to customize post actions, and everything is completely customizable here. And even the design options are completely customizable, but that's completely I said, off topic. So I won't get into them right now. So once that is done, what we need to do is obviously we want to save our campaign first, then we will check out these interesting options. And the most interesting one which you need to use is display rules. So if I click here, you can see a default display rule has been set up for this campaign. And if you read out it, if it's plain English, you can understand. So what it says is, if all of these conditions are true at the same time, then the campaign goes live, or at least the campaign pop-up happens. So what are the conditions? If time on page is at least five seconds and the current URL path is any page. So on any page on your website, after five seconds of user activity, the pop-up will open. So these are the default conditions and we'll obviously customize them according to our needs. So what I'll do is I'll click a new group here. And again, if all of the conditions are true at the same time, then we want a pop-up to be triggered. So in the conditions search option, I'll search for click. And this will bring to you uh, this option, monster link. So monster link is, uh, I'd say, a specific feature where monster, uh, I'd say opt-in monster will create a separate or I'd say a unique link for your campaign. And whenever any user clicks on that link, the campaign or the pop-up will be triggered. So if I click here, you'll see this campaign or I say this uh, display condition is added and we won't, don't want this condition here. So I'll delete this. And now the only trigger condition for this campaign is monster link. So I'll click here and this will copy the monster link code to my clipboard. And if I just bring a notepad file here and I just show it to you how it looks like. This is something what it looks like. And we'll customize it a little bit and remove the unnecessary elements when we use it on our website. But this is fine for now. You can do the same thing. You can just clip, keep it in the clipboard or you can just uh, put it in a notepad file separately like I'm doing. Once this is done, we have another option for additional options. For example, if you want to connect to any email provider service, then you can have these options here. You can have field mappings. You can add integrations with HubSpot, Active Campaign, Constant Contact, Zapier, Aweber, Brevo, Campaign Monitor, Dot Digital. You can see all these options here. So you collect the leads and you send it to your favorite email tool or a CRM, and then you can do whatever you like with those leads. All that is possible right inside Optin Monster as well. 
Once this is done, you can also go into the analytics. Once the campaign goes live, you can connect Google Analytics to it, set up goals and see all kinds of analytical data here. And then once you are happy with everything that you've set up, go to publish options here. Just triple check everything is set up. Most of the time, there should be no errors because you've used the plugin to set up uh, Optimosona site. And once you're done, just click the publish button here and make sure to just click save once again. And this will ensure that your campaign is now live from Optin Monster. Once that is done, just click on the cross button here, which will take you back to your website like this. And we'll just double check if our campaign is working. So I'll just go to the campaign section here. And sometimes you might see this option happen here. So I'll just click on the status here and just go to publish. And this will ensure that our campaign is now published. So a campaign is live, but we need to test it out on our website. So what I'll do is I'll go to the post section. I'll create a new post on the site. And I'll just say, okay, test post. And I'll add three elements on the page. I'll add a text, I'll add a button, and I'll add an image just to demonstrate how easy it is to use. So I'll just add, click here. Then I'll add a button. And I'll say, click here. And I'll also add an image. Okay, so I don't have an image, so I'll just go to a free image site on splash.com. Let's take this image and we will just copy the image URL here because I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Insert from URL and we'll paste it. All right, so all three elements have been added to the page, but now we need to add the link here. For that, we need to customize the link just a little bit. So if I bring the link back again on the screen, you'll see it is an actually an HTML code which has a, a a tag and an href tag and it has also an anchor text. We don't need all of this because we just are using WordPress to do this. So what we'll do is we'll just take this URL, I'll highlight it here. We'll just take this part of the URL and we'll delete the rest of the things. So if I just cut this part here and just paste it in the new line, this is all you need. The rest of it is what you don't need. So just it should just look like a regular link, which is app.campaignmonstercampaign.com and a campaign ID. So once you have this, once again, copy to your clipboard and just put it to the side. And I'm going to add the same link to all three elements on the page. So I'll go to the uh, text here. I'll just go to the link options, type the URL, paste it in, done. And the same thing for the button. I'll just do the same thing and add it here and done. And the same thing for the image as well. I'll just go to the link section and done and add it here. So once this is done, our links are added. Let's publish the post. Let's publish and just click on view post in a new tab. And now we have three elements on the page. Let's click all these elements one by one and see if the campaign is actually working. Let's click here. It should take a couple of seconds, but now you see it here. So if you click reserve your seats, then you can see the pop-up are actually working. Now you can enter your email address and you can enter your also name or email address and just fill out the form here. Second thing I can do is click the button here. And again, it works the same way. Beautiful. The third thing I can do is click the image as well. So it's, since it's a, also a link, I'll click it and the same thing works as well. So that's how easy it is to actually add a pop-up form on a WordPress button click or link click or even an image click on a WordPress website. If you have any questions about Optin Monster or regarding this video, leave it in the comments. If you have some video ideas you'd like us to cover, that is also in the comments. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You're watching Yuvraj from Double Beginner and I'll catch you in the next video really, really soon. Take care.